It's one of the red flags for COVID-19, the loss of smell and taste. And now new research suggests the symptom may be more important than doctors first realized. Our doctor, Frank McGeorge, is here to explain why. A new study out of the UK finds the loss of smell or taste is a highly reliable indicator that someone has COVID-19. Now, while there certainly are other potential causes, given the current pandemic, researchers say people who experience these symptoms should self-quarantine and get tested, even if they have no other symptoms. It is just the latest revelation linked to this symptom. Chuck Fletcher prides himself on always being healthy. I've always marveled that I've never had the flu. Then COVID-19 hit, and he became one of the 7.5 million Americans who have tested positive. So there were times where I was afraid to go to sleep because I wasn't sure whether I'd wake up the next day. Fletcher had difficulty breathing, abdominal pain, and lost his sense of smell and taste. I noticed that everything that my wife was pushing under the door for me uh, just started not tasting very good. 50 to 70 percent of patients who develop COVID-19 um, or test positive for COVID-19 will uh, lose uh, part or all of their sense of smell and or taste. Dr. Justin Turner is medical director of Vanderbilt's Smell and Taste Center. He says for up to 25 percent of patients, the loss of smell and taste could be the first and sometimes only sign of COVID. It can uh, be present before things like fever and cough and some of the things that we more commonly identify with the disease. There is one potential silver lining of the symptom. A study out of UC San Diego Health found patients who lost their sense of smell and taste may be more likely to have mild to moderate symptoms of COVID. Fletcher was never sick enough to be hospitalized and his senses are now coming back. Coffee was the last thing that came back. The loss of smell and taste can linger for months after a COVID infection. It's often the last symptom to resolve. Now, some survivors have turned to smell therapy to try and speed up the process.